وَمَنْ أَحْسَنُ قَوْلًا وعمل صالحا وقال إنني من المسلمين if, you, if people say Jesus is God, right? But you would agree God knows everything, right? Would you agree? Yes? No? Maybe? God all-knowing, all omnipotent? Would, would you agree? Alright. But if you look in the Bible, Jesus didn't know the hour, right? Right? Wrong? Maybe? Did he know the hour? Well, let's look in the Bible. All right, let's look in the Bible. So, I'd have to hear it from the no problem at all. So we go to Mark. Thirteen thirty-two. But of that day and hour, no one knows, not even the angels in heaven, nor the sun, but only the Father, right. Right? right? And me and you just, all three of us agreed that God is all-knowing, right? Absolutely. So if Jesus didn't know the hour, how could He be God? That's a valid question. It's a good question, right? That's a valid Food question. for thought, right? It's definitely a valid question. Does God worship God? You said that was Mark... Mark 13.32. Yeah. Do you have a pen on you? Yeah, I do. Because I, I like to discuss this. Good, man, good. Discuss it with your preachers, the pastors. Absolutely. Yeah, so Mark. Good, man, good. I'm going to give you a few more. All right. All right. Like, like. Good, man. <laughs> it looks like you're a follower of the truth, man. I am. That's nice, man. That's absolutely right. All right. For example, Christian theology tells us that God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost are co equal, right? Coexistent, co equal, same, right? But if you look in the Bible, Jesus said the Father is greater than I, right? Repeatedly you will find it, but you can find in John 5, 18. Therefore the Jews sought all more to kill him because he and only broke the, fast, the Sabbath. But it also said that God is his Father making himself equal to God, right? right? So if you look at this, when the Jews saw this, that they, him saying that he's equal, they got upset. But what did he say? He says, I can of myself do nothing. This is in verse 30, right? So Jesus responding to them said, I of myself can do nothing. As I hear, I judge. But my judgment is righteous, not because it's mine, because I do not seek my own will, but the will of the Father who sent me. If I bear witness of myself, my witness is not true. Right? So Jesus is saying, I don't judge of myself. My witness is not true, but only the work that I do for God. Right? So when you find repeatedly that God sent Jesus, right? For I have not spoken of my own authority, but the Father who sent me, right? So here we see that Jesus is telling the disciples and the Jews and others that God is greater than I. For you've heard me say to you that I am going away and coming back to you. If you loved me, you would rejoice because I said I'm going to the Father. For the, my Father is greater than I, right? So Jesus, according to the Bible that the Christians claim to believe, saying the Father is greater than I. But the pastors and churches are telling us they're co-equal. Right? Doesn't make sense, right? Well, it says in Matthew 30, 30, mm -hmm. uh, I am one with the Father. Excellent. So, excellent. So now, one with the Father, so I got you. In John 17, 20, it says, I do not pray for thee alone, but also for those who believe in me through their work, that they all may be one, as you, Father, are in me, and I in you, that they that they would be they would believe that in what you have sent me, mm -hmm. right? So now here Jesus is saying that, that as the as the Father and me are one, that all the disciples who believe in me may be one in us. That doesn't mean they're God, right? right. One in the sense that we're one nation. Like for example, in America they say we're one nation. It doesn't mean me and you are the same. But well, we do live by some common laws. We have common, you know, we have the same constitution in this country and all right. that, right? So one in mission, yes, but not one in being equal, right. right? The Father never prayed to Jesus, right? In the whole Bible, have you ever seen, right? But Jesus, the Father has? Oh, the Father. Knows. Father has not, right? But Jesus prays to the Father. Absolutely. So who's greater? 
Right. Who's greater? No question. Who is? <laughs> the Father. Well, Jesus is self-proclaiming. No, no, but but like I just showed like he you. He proclaims himself. Uh huh. The Father is greater than I. Exactly. Exa so see, that's there not you are. But but that's the problem that Christians today tell us that they're co-equal. Go ask your pastors and preachers, well, is Jesus and God equal? Well, I think it was the Jews that called it blasphemy. It's true, but today... But what was he saying, I'm equal? He wasn't, Because right? he was quoting previous scripture that was... Uh, it, I mean, Moses. Jesus himself is saying, right. according to the Bible, that the Father is greater than I. Right. But what I'm saying is today the church tells us, Christian preachers and pastors tell us, that they're co-equal. But those pastors may, may not be going by it doctrine exactly so either they should go by doctrine or right. not call themselves christian absolutely you feel me hey i agree right? with you, man. good I good good, good. Truth, in islam we believe in one god right. right we believe in the same god keep it bro it's a gift all right that. we believe in the same god that sent jesus with his message that we see jesus being sent by right. god we believe in the same god that jesus worshiped the same god that abraham worshiped the same god that moses worshiped the same god that muhammad worshiped right. we believe in that one god we don't believe he's a man we don't believe it's a woman we don't believe it's a child we don't believe it has girlfriends or wives or baby mamas or none of that nonsense right we believe god is above all that he is the one that created all of us right imagine if god was white or black like how would be that fair to anybody else right but we don't believe God has a race. We believe God created the heavens and earth and planets well, that's and all of that. Yeah. Exactly. But the problem is people have changed up the Bible, right? Like, like today, you said, humanity. You said pastors and exactly. Or but we have the Quran. False. But we have the Quran that is unchanged. You have a Quran? I don't. You do now. Can you get a Quran for me? There you go. It's a gift. No money. None I do of that. Appreciate that. No What's problem, man. Uthman. Man. Yes, nice Raymond. to meet you. Raymond. It's me, Raymond. Race, it's me, huh? You know some Arabic, huh? Nice. I'm actually going to Egypt. Uh, are you? Friday. Oh, wow. What are you going to Egypt for? Same thing you're doing. Really? You're going to be preaching out there? Absolutely. Ah, are you going to be preaching about one God or are you going to be preaching about some... Well, you're kind of, maybe that's why I met you. This is exactly. Right Allah here. has brought you here today for us to meet I so you can go... I believe that without a doubt. I believe that as well. For example, the Bible today, we cannot say is the Word of God anymore, right? Because it's been changed up, right? Yeah. I mean, if you look at some of the clear contradictions, you can write these if you like. Second Kings, in the 8th chapter, in the 26th verse, you see Isaiah was 22 years old when he became king, and he reigned one year in Jerusalem. Right? Second Kings 8, 26. 26. Yeah. So how old was he? 22. And how, old, how long did he reign? One year, right? Right. And just to make sure that people aren't like, oh, it's a different one, right? What's his mother's name? Athaliah, the granddaughter of Umri. Mm -hmm. Right? But in the same Bible now, you will find when you go to Second Chronicles in 22.2. Well, you got to go back to the Hebrew. Yeah, but, but look, look at this, right? Isaiah was 42 years old when he became king and he reigned one year in Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. Same one year. Same mother, Athaliah, daughter of the same Umri. Okay. So 22 and 42, right? It's a clear contradiction. Gap. Exactly, right? So what happened? People changed these things up over time, scribes, errors. Right. But that means it's not the word of God anymore. Languages. Languages, right? But that's why the Quran is so perfectly preserved. You'll never find such a numeric contradiction in the Quran. Right? Read it, you know. Well, until I'm not going to look for one. Don't. But I agree. So far, I do appreciate the questions that you Thank you. Up to me. I appreciate it. I'm going to give you one more for your... I'll for, pray for truth, too. You know that's I mean? exactly what I was going to say. That's right. <laughs> Tonight, pray mm -hmm. to the one creator to guide you to whatever the truth is. That's right. Right? Mm -hmm. This is the last one I'll take. I'll let you go with so you can, uh, you can have fun with your uh, teachers and stuff before you go. Matthew 5... Uh, hold on. No, sorry. Matthew, right in the beginning... 116 okay and jacob begot joseph right. the husband of mary right. to whom was born jesus right right so who was the father of joseph jacob jacob right but now when we go look at the genealogy of jesus same bible but when we go to luke 23 uh, 323 now jesus himself began his ministry at about 30 years of age being a supposed the son of joseph the husband of mary right, right? The son of Heli. See, earlier, 
Jacob was the father of right. Joseph, now he lied. Right? And it's not the daughter, it's not about Mary, it's not a different name because you can it's, it's read. It's not a, like an alias. It's not something. because you can, when you go home, you got I'll a Bible, read it, right? Yeah. Read but them side by side. A, a place by the Gideon? It is. It's a King James version. What do you, what do you read? King James. Yeah, so it's a King James. I mean, New King James in the English of it. Yeah. So, new King I mean. King James, yeah, it's preferable. Yeah, so this is the New King James. Um, but all right, man. I do appreciate your see? time. Just so you can. And I respect what new you're King doing. James. I appreciate you. I look forward to you keep, going keep to keep Egypt doing, and doing what you're doing. calling towards Tawheed, and, uh, to the oneness of God, right? Just remember, if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. Exactly. We're Muslims. We're standing. That's so, <laughs> have a great one. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you, for the Thank you so much. Like, for example, we talk about evolution. When I was in high school, they taught us that, that you know, it was, it was Neanderthals that were the middle between, you know, uh, primates and humans. And now they say, no, nah, just kidding, Neanderthal was the same time, there was a different branch. So what does that mean? That we don't really know. Like they're looking at kind of science is looking at fossils, they're looking at things and they're coming up with theories. So those theories could be right or be wrong, yeah. right? I, as a Muslim, perfectly believe in science, right? But there's a difference between something we can show with repeatability as a scientific fact and something that I, I can have a hypothesis. I can come and say, you know what, you're, a, you're not a human being, you're a, you're, a, you're a bird, right? But then you can put that to the test. You can say, okay, do you have wings? Do you have feathers? Do you have, you know, how? And we say, no, you know what, my hypothesis was wrong. You're a human being, right? So that's one thing. People take science today as if every scientific theory is a fact. If we go 100 years ago, much of what was being taught as science today has been debunked, right? right? But things that we can, okay, science, for example, we can say this water is liquid. Can we test that? Yes, we can put it through a trial, we can take water, we can make it flow, we can, we can freeze it and make it a solid, and then defreeze it, and we can say, okay, this is a fact, no problem with that, right? Oh, that's, that's all really good, and I really appreciate you telling all this. Thank yeah, you. Thank you, appreciate it. Have a good Thank one. You, so you much. have a book, thank you so Have much. A Have a good one. Today right. I'm with Sheikh Rahman Ibn Farooq, and we are giving da'wah publicly at Babawa Park, and uh, someone is interested in accepting Islam. Tell him. Uh, Ashhadu. Ashhadu. And La Ilaha Illa Allah. Wa Ashhadu. Anna Muhammadan Rasulullah. Rasulullah. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Takbir. Allahu Akbar. ومن أحسن قولا ممن دعا إلى الله وعمل صالحا وقال إن